This video outlines in short how you can recover your passwords, how to log into and log out from CTIS, and what the main features of the CTIS user profile functionality are. If you forget your password, you can always request a new one. In the CTIS login page, you need to click on the forgot password label, and you will be able to request the change of your password. You will be redirected to the EMA account management page, and you will be asked to fill in your username. Fill in your username and click on the next button. Answer to the two security questions, out of the three ones you had submitted during your registration process, and click on the next button. A one-time token will be sent to your registration email address, and you need to introduce it to the dedicated field. Copy the token from the email, and paste it to the dedicated field for the token. After inserting the token, click on the next button. Enter your new password, in the new password and confirm password fields, and click on the submit button. Once the new password is confirmed, you will receive an email that will inform you for the update of your password. You will be able to log in CTIS by populating the respective fields and clicking on the login button. On the landing page, in the upper right corner of the screen, you can view the username button. By clicking on the username button, a drop down menu will display three options access to your personal profile, access to your roles and log out from the system. In the personal profile page, you will see two sections, one for your personal data, and one for your employer's data. In the My Info area, you can update your personal details by clicking on the Update Personal Information label, or change your password by clicking on the Password Reset label. In both cases, you will be redirected to the EMA Account Management page. If you need to update your personal details, log in EMA Account Management using your credentials. In the next screen, you will see a dashboard. Click on the first title, View Identity. And then on the left side, click on the Edit Identity button. Edit the fields accordingly and click on the Submit button. If, for security reasons, you need to reset your password, back in the User Profile, Click on the password reset and log in the EMA account management page. The following process is similar to the one that needs to be followed in the case of the forgot password, with the exception that no token will be sent or asked this time. After inserting your credentials, answer to the two security questions and insert the new password. Back in the user profile, my employer details have not been populated. You can update your employer's details by clicking on the Update Employer Information button. Find your employer by using the search functionality as shown in the second clip of this module. You can select one of the existing addresses of your employer by clicking on the radio button or create a new address for it or create a new entity. If you need to add a new location, click on the plus button on the right side. Fill in the form to add a new location. If you need to add a new organization, click on the plus new organization and follow the steps that were described in the process of submitting a request for the creation of a new organization on the second clip of this module. Once you find your organization, click on radio button on the left side and click on the update employer button. The fields on the left side of the section will be populated by your employer's details. Back in the user profile menu, in the My Roles page, you can see the roles that you have been assigned, for a sponsor organization that you have been assigned with. In the Sponsor Workspace, you can request additional roles by using the button Request Role. For more details, you are invited to consult additional training material from Module 2, where this functionality is explained in detail. Last, you can log out from CTIS by clicking on the Last Log Out button. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to recover your password, to log in and to access and edit your personal profile page, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.